Um, I, I saw your name listed or linked with uh, Interview with the Vampire. What's going on with that? Um, that's funny. AMC is, uh, has acquired the rights to all of Anne Rice's uh, novels in her, her extended universe. Um, and they are working with the Rice estate, who I think uh, is being uh, with her and with her son. Um, and uh, Roland Jones, who recently wrote the Perry Mason um, series on HBO, is, is writing, the, is the main writer. Um, and I, when I heard they were doing it, I, I mean, I have a personal relationship with the book. I just moved to New York. I read an interview with a vampire and I just loved it. Um, it gave me this feeling, which I think is the, the main thing I took away from the book, which is, you know, every other story you've heard about vampires is kind of bullshit. And here's the truth. Um, this is, this is the reality. This is what it would really be like. Uh, and so I'm involved. I'm going to be doing just the, the first couple, uh, and we're shooting in New Orleans and, um, we have a great Lestat and a great Lewis and, you know, try and bring some of the stuff I loved about the novel into the show. Um, yeah. So you're, so you're doing the first few episodes? Um, yeah. I mean, right now I'm doing the first, I'm doing the, you know, what would be the pilot, the first two um, and executive producing the, the season. Um, and we'll see how it, how it goes. Two, two follow-ups on that, if you don't mind. Uh, when do you actually start shooting? And is the first season like what, eight or 10 episodes? Uh, right now, I think it's, yeah, it's seven or eight. It's gonna be seven or eight, um, the first season. Um, and I, we start shooting in December in New Orleans. Um, Sam Reed, uh, an Australian actor is playing Lestat and uh, Jacob Anderson, who was um, in Game of Thrones is playing Louis. Uh very excited. Last thing for you. When I spoke to Akiva a while ago, he mentioned your name with Ringworld, which I don't know if you, you were happy he mentioned or uh, <laughs> we're, we're, we're sad, but I was very surprised when he said it because, you know, it's great to hear news. Uh, are you still attached to that? Are you doing it? What, what's the status? I, 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 when I heard that uh, NGM was, was working on it, I just pounced on them and said, come on, come on, come on, come on. Um, because again, it was something I, I think I read it when I was 14 or something and just thought it was the coolest thing in the world. And there are still ideas in it that I think are the coolest ideas I've ever come across in science fiction. Um, the idea of a character like Tila Brown, um, who's, you know, basically seventh generation lucky, <laughs> uh, is, is so fun to play with. So I, I was so excited about it, you know, that and the Kazinti and the, um, the, the extended world, the puppeteers. I just, I, there's so much I love. So we were developing it for a while with various writers and Akiva came in and they were developing it with him and it was going on for a long time and uh it's been sort of quiet with me for a while I went off to do the many saints and um I'm not exactly sure where they are with it but Akiva did some great work on it um it's a really challenging adaptation because you know what I mostly love is these brilliant ideas that that uh, Niven has but it's tough to put it in terms of character and story arc that play for TV. Um, and so I think it's, it's been a, a hard problem to solve, but, um, you know, I would love to see it done and would love to participate if, if it ever moves ahead. Yeah. It's, um, uh, it's sort of like foundation coming out now, you know, it took forever. Yeah. You know? yeah. I, I saw the trailer for foundation. I thought, okay, I, I can feel your pain. <laughs> I can imagine, uh, these, these series that people love and that are huge, it makes you realize, you know, that one of the gold mines in game of Thrones was, uh, most of you know a lot of the hard work of character and story was done it was already fabricated and some of these things you have to go in and say okay we love this about it but now let's, you know, let's build the character and the story yeah between you and i um uh, i've seen all of foundation season one and uh, david goyer did a really good job it's a it's really well done but it's different than the books you know and i i think i've, I've seen online anyway I've taken up uh, more of your time than I, I was, you know, so um, I'm Good. just gonna no say- I have to get off the phone. So I guess, uh, I guess we're still okay. Um, but thanks, that was a wide ranging conversation. Thank you so much. And um, I hope the movie does huge and, you know, David, uh, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> and David gets excited about another one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, okay. but cool. And congrats on Interview with the Vampire. That sounds awesome. Thank you, thank you. All right, cool. have a great day.